Today, we are going to learn about Inside Your Outside. This is the book about like everything inside your like body, and it's very interesting because I absolutely love biology. So yeah, let's get started. I'm the cat in the hat here to share some good news. From the tip of your hair to the toes in your shoes, your body is moving. It never stops going. Right now your heart's beating. Right now your blood's flowing. You may be just sitting and reading a book. But your body is busy. Come on, take a look. Imagine if each time you walk down the street, you could look right inside of people you meet. You'd see hearts pumping blood. You'd see brains busy thinking, lungs breathing, bones moving, and eyes always blinking. There's one easy way you can see what I mean. Take a ride in my inside your outside machine. Every ticket is free, and before we are through. You will see inside me and inside of you too. Let's start at the top with your brain. It is key. It controls all you do. Helps you laugh, learn, and see. It makes your legs move when you run, jump, or walk. It makes your face move when you blink, smile, and talk. It sends information to all parts of you and does millions of things no computer can do. Your brain never stops. It goes all day and night. Your brain has two sides. One left and one right. Different things are controlled by each side of your brain. The left helps you read and remember my name. The right helps you paint and play music and sing. Together, both sides have you do everything. How big is your brain? This is quite a surprise. Your two fists together are close to its size. Meet the Fulton's who live in far off Faden. When they stand in the sun, you can see through their skin. It is easy to see when you look at a skeleton. All of the bones that are known as a skeleton, bones shape our bodies and help us stand tall. We've two hundred and six. Some big and some are small. There are flat bones in your heads, soft bones in your nose, curved bones in your ribs, short bones in your toes. One bone in your ear. This made us think twice. It's so small. It's the size of just one grain of rice. Bones in your body are stronger than steel. But when a bone breaks, it is able to heal. Here is a fact that we both think it's neat. A joint is a place where two different bones meet. There are joints in your elbow. Wrist, shoulder, and knee joints help you bend, so you move easily. There are bones down your back that are all in a line. They help you stand up, and are known as a spine. The spine has a spinal cord running inside it, a bundle of nerves which help move it and guide it. Here is a word that we've just learned today. The bones in your spine are called vertebrae. Nerves are like wires that run inside you. They let your brain know everything that you do. You have five different senses which help your brain tell what you hear, how things taste, what you see, touch, and smell. Sniff a flower and pull sweet smells to your nose. Nerves go to your brain and say, "Hey, that's a rose." Your sense of touch really tells you a lot. This kitten is soft. This pizza is hot. If you could not see other senses, it's true. Like touch, taste, and smell would work harder for you. Sound waves travel through air deep into your ear, shaking your eardrum. That is how you can hear. Why do you feel dizzy when you have stopped twirling? Inside of your ear, there is liquid still swirling. Your poor dizzy brain just has no way of knowing whether you stop or if you're still going. Taste buds on your tongue tell your brain when to eat. This pickle is sour. This ice cream is sweet. When your eye looks at something, it goes to your brain, and there's something happens that's hard to explain. The picture your brain sees is flipped upside down. 
It's up to your brain to flip it back around. Iris, lens, nerve to brain, retina, pupil, cornea. Nearsighted folks can see things that are near, but faraway things do not look quite as clear. Farsighted folks can see things that are far, but things that are close, my how blurry they are! When you move, muscles pull on your bones and help you turn your head, raise your hand, take a bite, and then chew. Some muscles are joined to each other or skin. They help wiggle your ears. Raise your eyebrows and grin. Here is a fact about muscles we've known for a while: you use more when you frown than you use when you smile. You have six hundred muscles, and here's the best part: the biggest of all is your very own heart. The sound that your chest makes is thump, 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 thump. That's the sound of your blood being moved by a pump. The pump is your heart. Blood flows through it, and then the heart muscles squeeze the blood out again. Blood circles your body in less than a minute. Each drop has a million of blood cells within it. Blood cells are two colors. There are red cells and white. If a germ makes you sick, that germ's in for a fight. A white blood cell gets ready the minute it meets it. It wraps up that germ. Then the white blood cell eat it. Red cells give blood color. Look closely, you'll see they look just like donuts without holes to me. Lungs help you to breathe, and they never can rest. They like two balloons in each side of your chest. Inhale, breathe air in. Exhale, let air out. Every four seconds, you breathe in and out. Lungs breathe in air. Which you cannot live without. Each time that you eat, the first thing that you do is put the food in your mouth, and that's when you chew. Food goes through your stomach, where juices are flowing, turns into a paste, then the paste keeps on going. A tube, the intestine, is where the food moves through. This food feeds your blood, which then feeds all of you. Food takes time to travel. Thing one and I know. In our stomach, there is food we ate three days ago. When you drink, liquid enters your blood and then goes all over your body. Wherever blood flows, blood is cleaned by your kidneys. They work with great speed to clean out waste and water. That's what you do not need. Waste water is stored in your bladder and then it soon flows back out of your body again. You need food and water. You use quite a bit of it. If some is left over, your body gets rid of it. We have come to the end of our ride. It is true, but there still is a lot you can learn about you. Way down deep inside of your body and mind, there is a lot going on every day, all the time. As you grow, you would know that your bones will get longer. Your lungs will get bigger. Your muscles grow stronger. Your brain and your heart will guide all that you do. Someone special is inside your outside. It's you. The end. So do you like it? Because I love it. It was so fun, and my favorite page is. This page, all the senses. It looks like a little fair game. Wah, fair game, and it's like so adorable. I really like it. But don't forget to comment down below what book do you want me to read next, and please like and subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any fantastic videos like this anymore. But now, goodbye.